Just double check. Gotta make sure they know shin was here before I try and do this. Okay, so this is something we're actually toying with. This is kind of like not our high highest level baseline technique at BB. This is something that at Fargo camp I was screwing around with Ryan Morningstar. Morningstar was like, hey, let's try this. Let's see if this works. And he's like, dang, this really works. So we started we started working it through through the summer with some of our club kids and saw I like I like showing you guys different things too that you guys might even find something that's a little variable to it that you like better, that you can do it better than me. But if you mess up, your hands get locked. And again, this isn't the worst thing. Like I say mess up because it's messed up compared to like perfect, easy, I finished in 0.5 seconds and didn't have to work at it. So if you mess up and your hands end up locked and now you just got to get tough and finish, this is, this is one of those options. Okay, so I get my hands locked. He goes hard. Shin wizard, like turn your hip away from me, all that stuff. Yeah. This is a hard position to finish from, right? And I know everyone's got a different solution to this. Um, this may even be something you guys have seen. I don't know. Everyone's got a different way that they try and finish this. But for me, this is one of the best things that I've come across as far as like ease, where it's not just a, hey, you gotta be a man and get tough. Like there's a technical aspect to it that makes it a little bit easier while you're fighting and getting tough. So I'm gonna reach, spin this way, cause it's gonna be tough. Yeah. I'm gonna reach my opposite hand over, okay? So I'm not going to reach for the knee. I'm not gonna lock my hands, okay? What I'm actually gonna do is step this foot up at least to a knee, ideally to a foot, depending on your flexibility. I'm gonna go knee just cause I'm gonna be talking while I do this. Knee and I'm gonna reach this hand underneath, okay? And come to the heel. My elbow needs to go on his laces. This is essentially a heel lock, okay? If you guys are like MMA, UFC guys, this is a good way to end a fight, too. Ankle, elbow, okay? Now, all I'm gonna do is sit back down over here. I don't even have to run my feet really hard, I'm just gonna sit down. Feel all that pressure release? Okay. Pressure release like crazy. He can't really scramble and like limp me or anything on me because I'm lifting and I'm trying to be as nice about this as possible so this doesn't hurt him. But like my elbow's under his toe. I can lift up here. Yeah, see him jump? That was like a very small movement. So you guys be careful when you're doing this. Now to clear my arm, because some guys will still fight like crazy with this wizard, I'm just gonna circle my butt up and bump. I still have his foot like this. If you're a legger, you can start trapping that bad boy in there. If you're just basic on top, you can cover, you got your tape. Okay? It's really important that you get that foot in between here and here though. Okay, if, it, if you just grab his heel and you get your elbow pointed up to the ceiling, that's not gonna do a whole heck of a lot. Okay? So I'm here, he's beating me up. I like to get my foot up just as a little post. Okay? And I'm gonna reach this hand underneath find his heel, and I gotta get deep enough, so I may even have to go like this to get my elbow deep enough, depending on how your reach is. My elbow is deep on his toe, I have the heel, I just sit down. And no matter how hard he's pulling against me, he's gonna sit down with me. He might have a lot of fight from here, but he's, he's gonna sit down and be in this position with me. And I bump butt, clear, follow up. Okay? Um, one question that I get a lot, and again, I've only been working this for a couple months. Actually, like a month, because this is Fargo camp. So, um, but one question I've gotten a lot when I, when I show this is, like, if I'm going like this, what's to stop him from hipping into me and taking me to my back? Did I do that? Okay, well, you didn't score yet, did you? No, mouse trap. Huh? Mouse trap. He said, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, try and run this way if you can. Run all the way over my back. Oh. If you can. Mouse trap. Okay, so if he does that, I honestly can sit right up with him, okay? And again, I was being nice. I can probably keep him from even getting all the way across my body. Got hip and heart. If I do this to your toe, how much further are you run? Exactly, okay? So this isn't a takedown for anybody. He didn't score, I didn't score, but he's eventually gonna get antsy here. Probably let go of something to try and scramble. And I'm gonna just come right up with it. I never let go of the toe. Okay, now I'm not suggesting you lay on your back for 10 seconds, but that should be your worst case scenario. Okay, and if you post your foot, 
he's got to have one heck of a, a shin wizard to put you over to your back. If I get here and post on my my foot or even my knee and I'm kind of wide here, like, yeah, hit as hard as you can. I'm not going anywhere, okay? And then I'm just going to take my time and sit down. I'm going to finish. Questions? Here we go, one, two.